Well, tonight, extra security measures are in place on South Padre Island. And among those making sure everyone stays safe, the Texas Alcoholic and Beverage Commission. Our Channel 5's Trace and Bragg rode along with them on a recent sweep. Stings like the one we went along on are common during spring break. This was our first location. Lieutenant Mario Virela of the TABC is in charge of the sting operation. He wants to know if convenience stores and others are following the law and refusing service to underage minors. Today uh, we had a minor sting in which we visited several on-premise locations to make sure uh, that they're in compliance with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Code in respect to providing alcohol to minors. Out of the 15 businesses involved in a sting, one sold liquor to the 15-year-old undercover agent. Viriela explains what happened next. Every business, they're looking at an eight-day suspension of their permit or a $2,400 fine. Um, in regards to the clerk or the individual who made the sale or made the transaction, they may be looking at a Class A misdemeanor, which uh, in essence constitutes up to a $1,000 fine or a year in jail. The SPI PD tells over 28 arrests for public intoxication was made during the first three days of spring break. Cassidy Dine says she's thankful for alcohol laws. No, I think there's a reason that there's like laws and I, I think there's a reason that there's rules and people should like respect that. When people like get hurt or even like when people like have to go to the hospital, it's because like they are breaking the laws. She says in spite of an effort by law enforcement, some underage partiers still find ways to get a drink. Hey, like I saw a girl like having a hard time on the beach, so I helped her out and I knew she was underage, but I mean, it's one of those things that like you know it's happening, but also at the same time like you want to avoid it. Dine says for her, a large part of staying safe and out of trouble during spring break is being aware and making smart decisions. Lieutenant Villarreal says the purpose of these sting operations isn't to trick businesses. It's to make sure employees and businesses follow the law and keep all of their customers safe. In the studio, Trace Bragg, Channel 5 News at 6.